an eventful week, isn't it? From a playing point of view, what, how's the week unfolded? Yes, um, obviously mixed emotions this week, um, but you know we have to get on with our jobs. Um, everyone's obviously positive. Um, you know we've got a new manager now, and uh, you know I think we need to you know get behind each other, get behind the new manager um, as a football club. Um, you know, and give the fans something to be positive about, and you know they need to you know help us as well with that. Yeah, and how have, how things changed under Darren if they have in the short term that he's been in charge? Um, you know, you're obviously going to get a lot of uh, enthusiasm and a lot of positivity from the, um, the new gaffer. Uh, so, you know, that's something that we're going to be looking forward to. Um, you know, he wants you know, a good atmosphere back around the club. He wants to obviously get that togetherness back with the fans, the football club, everyone. Um, because, you know, like before when I've been at this football club it's a very it was always a good you know community football club um, with a positive atmosphere and we need to you know just get that back into it that energy that enthusiasm that um, togetherness um, you know so he, we're all desperate you know to do well um, and he breeds that confidence and that enthusiasm so that's the direction we're looking to go into. Yeah do you think it helps with him being at the Oval such a long time association with the Oval is that a good thing from the club moving forward? Do you think? Well that's it he's uh, you know obviously a massive fan himself it's in his heart um, and you know, it hurts obviously it's hurting him more than anyone um, so it's it's good because his character um, I think is perfect for it as well because like I said he is he's very enthusiastic um, he's obviously got great work rate as a player and as a coach and you know it will be as a manager yeah and now of course you, your first game back here is it well first game under Darren at Hewish Park is that a help or a hindrance well it'd be a help I feel you know um, because like I said he's he's one of them um, so we need you know, FA Cup game as well, we need that FA Cup atmosphere. Um, so, you know, it could be a, a very big, you know, um, positive game for us, sadly. Yeah, and is it uh, not only that, good to be away from the league in a way, so you've got a chance to, you know, to sort of find your feet, if you like, and, uh, before you get back into the bread and butter of the league? Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm one of them, I just want to keep, if you lose in the league, I want to play the next game, simple as that. I don't want to, I just want to go on to keep trying to win the next game. Um, but you know that the cup game is important as well. It's important for the football club, obviously, to get everyone likes the FA Cup for one. But it's good, you know, to get some obviously some uh, funding if we win um, behind the club. And it's just another game. We need to win games. Yeah. Have you experienced darker times than this in your playing career? Yeah. Um, uh, when I was at Southampton, we had quite a good run. Um, I think we ended up playing Man United. Um, and to be fair, Brentford have had a few. I like, you know, when you play that, like obviously Maidstone, those type of games when they are on telly, it's obviously mm. what, what football's about, really. Yeah, and uh, of course, when we talk about the, the league form, I guess that kind of goes out the window in cup games, doesn't it? That's it. Um, but it's something to build on. We've, we've got obviously fresh ideas, a fresh way that the club, you know, wants to go. Um, and we just need to breed positivity around the football club and if it doesn't come Saturday it will come because like I said you know we're all desperate for um, us to do well. Yeah, Stephen Edge played them not long ago didn't you, would, would you expect a similar type of game? Yeah we know obviously what we're going to get from them um, so we'll be prepared. Yeah and what would you expect from them coming away from home, will more pressure be on you as the home team under a new manager? <coughs> it always is at home anyway. Um, but that's something you know we're going to have to deal with, and at the end of the day, it's you know, like I said, we just need to go out there, be positive, stick to our game plan, and you know, get the fans behind us. Hopefully, there's a good atmosphere because everyone likes the FA Cup. This club's obviously got good history in the FA Cup, so you know, it's something you know we can all look forward to as a club. Yeah, and how can you, as players, turn the season around? Well, that's it. You know, we have to do it. Simple as that. Um, and that's what we we need to do desperately at the moment. Um, things obviously haven't been going our way. I don't think we've, we've been far off it. Um, just a little, you know, a few bits of change here and there. I think, but we've definitely got the players to do it. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you very much. No problem. What's it like, Ryan, with a with a manager leaving halfway through the season? Is it something you've experienced before in your career? Don't want to admit it. Yeah, but quite a lot. Um, I think it happens a lot more now in football. Um, it's a results business, and it happens. Um, it happened to me last year. It happened. Not the year, but it happens quite a lot, obviously, in football nowadays. So, um, you know, it's something that you don't get used to, but it, you know, like I said, it's part of football now. 
I guess as players you can't let it affect you either, you just have to get on with it and carry on. Well that's it, um, you know it's not nice losing, simple as that as a player, it's hard, um, you know it's hard for the football club, it's obviously hard for the fans and we understand that, um, but you've got to understand it isn't something that players like, especially you know, it's not something I enjoy one bit, um, so it is hopefully now a start, you know, a new fre a fresh start, we need to get behind the new manager. Um, the players already have. We just need everybody to, you know, pull in the right direction because, you know, we have to do it together. It's simple as that. And I guess as captain, a lot of the younger players are looking towards you, you know, for for inspiration when it is when times are difficult like they are at the moment. Yeah, obviously a lot of lads aren't going to have been in this situation through their career because their careers are just starting. But that's sometimes what you need. You know, they they haven't got that fear. Um, you just need to, you know, let the reins off them a little bit and just let them play their game because we've got some good talent. What's no the problem. dynamic been like? It's not usual for. Obviously, Terry was assistant, Darren was first team coach. They almost sort of swapped over, haven't they? So, what's what's that been like in training today? Um, to be fair, fine. Um, I've experienced obviously Terry as assistant and as manager, um, and he fits both roles. That's just the type of guy he is. He can do both, um, and I think Darren's got slightly different ideas um, and. To be fair, today's gone really well. Um, you know, I'm happy with with the way that he wants us to play. I think um, and the way you know he, he's going to do things slightly it isn't the same as what Terry would want, which um, you know I think he's going to be his own man, his own man, which is you know obviously good for football. Has there been a team meeting to sort of explain why decisions were taken? Because I think a number of the players were surprised. Obviously, Darren goes above Terry and that sort of thing. Has there been a an overall meeting to just sort of explain the decision making? Or? Not really. Um, it was obviously the decision which the board have made. Um, and like I said, I think he's 100% ready for it. He's, um, you know, uh, shall I say, you know, he studies the game very well. He's football for, through and through. Um, it's his, his life, really. Um, so I think, you know, 100% he's ready for it. It's just, and now he's been given that chance.